immortal John Hancock. The immortal John Hancock here. And today, I'm showing some arcade games I've been playing on the Switch and Xbox One. You know, the summer's ending for me. I'm going back to school soon. And there's just a lot of game options right now. And, and a lot of people have been asking me what I've been playing. A lot of arcade-style games. And not necessarily all arcade games, but arcade-style. And I have three games I'd like to show you that I've been playing. Let's check them out. Nitro Ball. This is one of the stranger... Arcade releases of Johnny Turbo's Arcade. This caught my attention because it's part Smash TV, Mercs, and a pinball game all thrown into one crazy idea. I love it. It's different. Playing a lot of arcade games. I, I've never heard of this game. And so when they announced it and it came out, which is out now, it's neat. You can rotate your screen on your Switch on the go and play this with the aspect ratio of the arcade game, I do believe. And it's three player. And so it's really kind of a cool throwback arcade game. I like this. I like this game quite a bit. I want to play more of it. It's not too long. That's one downside of it, but it's got a, just a crazy setup here. So let's go ahead and show you a little bit of here, just playing this game. <laughs> so you can be Gary, Harry, or Sam. And, you know, it's 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 definitely got, you know, that whole Mercs Contra feel to it on a on a pinball field. And so, yeah, you start off, you know, you can you can shoot multiple directions, go around killing the bad guys, which the first bad guys are colored purple. I mean, it's just got the whole like 90s color scheme thing going on. Tons of power ups. It, it definitely you can you can rack up some pretty great scores. It's got the whole like pinball high score thing going. And then, uh, but then it's got the whole like military blow everything up thing to to it as well. So I really like this. This is just kind of something I've been playing. I I, uh, I haven't sank a bunch of time into this game. It is short, from what I hear, and so that's one downside of this game is there's not many levels. But for what is here, a lot of fun. I enjoy playing games like this. You know, this is just kind of a, a mashup of different genres and, and games kind of into one and I you know for me playing a lot of different things over the years I like playing things I haven't played before I can't really say I've played a game quite like this it's kind of neat so yeah definitely want to definitely want to you want to check out if you like pinball and you like you know games like the Kari Warriors Contra Mercs this is this is a cool game for you so it's it's definitely one and you can play with your friends too and i like that there's three players how many three player games out there so so yeah you turn into a pinball it's one of the power-ups here and you can just destroy everything and you get like tons of points this is available now on the eShop. i love that the eShop is providing such a variety of games and i think the eShop is best is best serving gamers providing these bite-sized entertainment games you know these games less than 10 bucks pick up and play this is definitely probably a really good portable game you know something you can just hang out play with friends or, or by yourself that's cool bosses are pretty neat too this is oh look i'm gonna go pick up my 80s watch here for so many thousand points <laughs> And this is a game I played quite a bit on my Disneyland trip, and it's Sleep Tight. And it's made by We Are Fuzzy. It's also available on Steam. And this is a cool game, arcade style. Essentially, your, your kid's fending off monsters in your room, and it's got like a whole like build aspect to it. And it's neat. And I haven't played as much as I want to, but I definitely enjoy this game quite a bit. It's kind of like uh, if Monsters Incorporated was a video game. And it's, it's just neat. I, I really like this game. Probably of the, the games I'm showing today, this is the game I've been playing the most. And so you start off here, you know, you have uh, suns and stars. And this is kind of like the currency in the game. And you can upgrade weapons. And it's just really neat, the different things that you can do. And you have to, you have to purchase items to defend your room 
you start off with you know a light wall and then you can build up there and you set the you place things here and you purchase different things you can you go here over here to research and then you can you can upgrade stuff and so defenses here I need to get a light turret so I'm gonna purchase that and I do have enough so I'm gonna go ahead and purchase it okay and then I can go down here and place the turret and turrets are super important they get damaged by monsters and you have different guns and characters and the more you play the more you can unlock and it's so it's 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 really neat i really enjoy this game quite a bit i'm not the best at it but it's got kind of the whole for me you got kind of a defense game kind of meets robotron and i like that I like that quite a bit Maybe throw in a little uh, plants versus zombies, and uh, yeah, so I liked it. Yeah, it might be better. Plants versus zombies meets uh, Robotron with uh, Monsters Incorporated. <laughs> but yeah, I like these kind of these crossover games where they don't fit into one genre. You know, I, I've played a lot of games, and and these games are just are games I keep coming back to. You know, I'm a very busy person. You know, I'm doing several videos a week on YouTube and you know I get asked all the time like what are you playing and you know I'm not playing Octopath Traveler I'm not playing these 40 hour games that take a ton to digest I'm playing these arcade style games that I can pick up and play I can play an hour or so put up save and go back to and the other thing is I really enjoy these eShop titles you know I people ask me if I'm collecting the switch not really. I'm not collecting the Switch. I'm more playing the Switch and I'm playing choice things. And part of it is, you know, I don't want to have to fumble around with a bunch of little cards to stick into the Switch to play it. I think one of the benefits of the Switch is its portability. But more importantly, I think a lot of these bite-sized games that you can get on the eShop are the best fit for the Switch. That, to me, is the strength of the Switch is these, these, these indie titles these uh, arcade style games and I'm, I'm really enjoying it. Next up is kind of a throwback and this is done by Mega Cat Studios. This is Coffee Crisis. Now I was a Kickstarter backer of this on the Sega Genesis and what they've done is they've made the game better and they made it available for Steam and now the Xbox One and so it's just kind of a old-school brawler with a weird premise where you're <laughs> battling people with coffee bean bags and it's it's strange i think it's better so yeah after playing not that much on the xbox one i think this is the best version to play definitely has an old school feel and i could see myself playing this with a friend you know not many games especially brawlers are you taking coffee bags and and beating people down so yeah it's it's definitely cool i like i like that they've added some things it just, it just, you know, everything from the soundtrack to just the gameplay, it just seems faster, better. I enjoyed the Genesis one. You got these weird, like, graphic things that happen <laughs> on the screen. It, it's, it's weird, but yeah, it's, I, I enjoy this. This is cool. So as you progress, the game gets tougher. It does have these weird, like, graphic moments where, like, the screen gets all weird and it has, like, kind of a a weird graphics effect. I don't know if I like that that much. It, it's kind of weird, but you know, it kind of makes it kind of just a unique feature. And you know, for me, I could see myself playing this one quite a bit with a friend, old school arcade, or even with my even with my son. So yeah, I I, I look forward to playing this one more. So, yeah, this is available again for Xbox One and Steam. And, you know, if people are interested, they did make a Sega Genesis version of this game. Though the, the Xbox One version, I do believe, is the enhanced one. So that's, that's what I've been playing and enjoying it. So there you have it. You know, it doesn't matter what you're playing on. There's so many options and so many games out there to check out and enjoy. What are you playing? I'd love to hear below kind of what you're gaming on. You know, I hope you're enjoying my channel. I'm trying some new things out. And, you know, I'm doing some PS4 live streams. I'm doing some game chats. And I'm really just kind of branching out. 
and I'm really enjoying gaming. A lot of people have asked me over the years, you know, do you do you play games? I do. I do. I enjoy playing games. I'm not the best game player, but I enjoy playing video games, and I like talking about games, and I love game history. And so I, I love where the channel is going, and I look forward to sharing a lot more things moving forward. Thank you so much for people continuing to tune in as I march towards 70,000 subs. I also have a Patreon if you want to contribute there for as little as a dollar a month, and you get an exclusive video. Thank you so much. You folks are wonderful and beautiful. This is the immortal John Hancock. Thank you, and you take care.